Hello students, I welcome you to this lesson in fine art in the paper of studio technology and our topic today is leather. As students, these are like other topics. Let us see what it is. Let us begin by knowing what leather is. You can say leather is the material that you get from animals. Some people call it skin, but in terminology used here, technically is the pellet. Pellets are protective covering of animals. It has fur and hair on it. We know this is classified in different ways depending on size. For example, the pellets, all hide and skin got from large animals like cows, bulls, horses, giraffe. They can be referred to as hide. Then the ones that are got from small animals like goats, sheep, calf, birds, small reptiles, we refer to it as skin. Then there are those medium animals like heifer or bull rocks. They are called kips. So if someone asks you, you know what to say. Let's see, there are some items that we have with us at home, with our friends, with our parents that are made out of leather. This is the items that are made from hide and skin, or pelt in this case. Uh, hides, hides provide strong and durable leather, suitable for making, for making belts. Some belts that you see are made from hides. Uh, even some shoes, some soles of shoes are made from this, the products of, of hides and skin. Uh, skins also provide strong and flexible leather, uh, which is light in weight, but suitable for handbags. You check and see some handbags are products of leather, which leather is also a product of hide and skin. Some garments, some wallets are made from, from leather. Birds, like ostrich, provide also skins, which is light in weight but suitable also for bags and garments and dress accessories. Some reptiles, like skins, like snakes, have skins from alligators, leathers, snakes, provide scaled leather, suitable for making handbags, watch stripes, musical instruments, belts, and wallets. Students, now you have to also to make research and look around you and see, such that when you are asked for what are some of the products that are made from leather, you know what to talk about, okay? This is the illustration that can give the examples. Some shoes that are made from leather, you can see in the illustration, but first here, some bags, you can see the wallets here, cushions of chairs, okay? some gloves are made out of leather okay so when you look around you can try to explain to someone who can ask you beat an exam you can able to ask and give examples okay let's see the process we all know that some of these materials when they are made they are not ready until they go through stages likewise leather here goes through stages these stages can be classified like cleaning there's a cleaning stage there's a turning stage or curing stage, and we have also the finishing stage. So students, let us see what is involved in cleaning. Cleaning has got other stages that are involved in cleaning before it is called a clean material. Let us look at skinning. Skinning is one of, one of the stages. This involves someone removing a skin or a hide from an animal after it is slaughtered. In illustration here, you can see a man is removing a skin from an animal. After the skin is removed from an animal, there's a second stage which is called washing. If the pelt is removed from an animal, it's soaked into water and then washed and rinsed to remove that and other impurities. 
Okay. The second stage here is lime. After washing the skin, it is then soaked into lime. It is called lime bath, which is a solution that makes it soft and loosen the hair. Then the hair here is can begin getting off, or it can ably and easily get off from the skin. A continuation here, students. Now that hair is loosened, here I find that irrigating it off is very easy through a process called the hair. And also, apart from hair, we have also got some flesh that is still on the inner surface of a skin. So the, the process here is called the hairing and fleshing. At this stage, the hair and flesh are carefully removed from the skin. Here you have to be very careful such that you don't damage. You know, if it is damaged, it is a loss. After that stage, there's what is call, called now clean bath. Uh -huh. Here, the pelt is soaked into a chemical solution yeah, to neutralize the lime. So now the lime, the other lime we used was very uh, conk, conk, and now it could not now uh, be uh, kept on. So it has to be removed eh? and other impurities that remain. Now that we have lime and some bits of hair and some bits of flesh that are scattered on the skin, the stage now that here that is needed is called brush scrubbing. At this stage, you will scrub this ordinary scrubbing that we do at our homes, even when we do, when we are cleaning our items, is here done also. Here, the skin is washed again, scrub, scrubbed with, with brushes, and this marks the end of the cleaning what? Cleaning process. Students, now that our skin is, is clean, let us find out what next is needed here. Then there is the turning stage. Also, it can be known as the curing stage. This curing stage can be done in, in, in a number of ways. For instance, there is what we call the vegetable turning process. If you have not used that one, you can use the chromy turning process. If you, you don't want to use that one, you can opt for the synthetic turning process or the alum turning process. Alum turning process. That's why it's supposed to be turning with TA. Okay. Let us see. If I chose to use the vegetable turning process, what is involved? This one is involved it involves soaking the tan, the, 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 the item into the tan, which is put in a large container. Tanning is a chemical substance that is extracted from the bark of, of water trees that in central uh, valleys of Kenya province. Yeah, this one is got from a tree. That is why it is called vegetable. It is one of the substances that you can use and here it can assist to help us do the turning. Remember, we said turning, we make it become soft and also becomes usable and also protect it from being, being affected by uh, situations that can make it decay. So this is one of the items that can make it uh, be suitable. If you opt for chromatining, chromatining is another process of, of turning our hide or skin, uh, which involves immersing the prepared pellets into a drum of, of chromium and let, it, let the drum slowly rotate about its axle for some time until the turned material, the pellet gains a stable state. This one is done slowly. It rotates, you, you put it in a drum that can move slowly and that helps you to stabilize. It's one of the method of turning or curing. Don't forget I said turning, he used interchangeably with curing, but they all mean the same. If you opt for synthetic turning, this involves using synthetic material 
mineral compound uh, during the turning process. Here I use the minerals to, to do the turning to make it uh, suitable, uh, stop it from being, being brittle or even stopping it from rotting. Here I use synthetic minerals compounds during the process of turning. If someone opts for alum turning, this is another one that involves using aluminium salts during the process. The salt here also helps to turn the skin in color. It turns into another color. So this, these are some of the turning processes that we can opt for. However, also what is important to note here is that the time that leather takes depends on a number of factors. For instance, the type of turning that you opt for, the thickness that the skin has, the texture of leather, the temperature, and the concentration of the curing or turning solution that you opt to, to use all these factors determine, determine the time that one takes in order to process the skin or hide in this case. Now that we have seen the turning process, there is a final process known as finishing. This process is also known as graining process, in which the surface of leather is embossed with, with imitations as a way of decorating or beautifying it. Just as you know all products, products on market, they are not left in their natural appearance. You find that they are also added on some other features to make it very beautiful. Embossment is one of them. Uh -huh. Here you find that some plain uh, skins or hides are not suitable when they are left plain as they are. However, I have to also to note that there are some skins or hides of animals that are beautiful and they don't need this one. This, like for instance, the one of the snake doesn't require embossment. Uh, also, cleaning uh, involves us to use uh, colors. Here, we don't just paint, but we use the process known as dyeing. During finishing, we can opt to dye the skin or hide using vegetable or chemicals. This one gives it a, our skin a color. We can even opt to spray. Like that now, at this stage, we can choose colors. Why? Because on the market, there are customers who prefer to use leather products, but also they prefer them in particular colors. So this is the stage that is very important. Students that you have to note and always mention it where it is required. Now that you have a product made, uh, a material ready for products, for production of items, what is next? You have to know how much usable uh, material that you have. So you have to take measurements. This is another one. Where you have to measure the, the one which can be utilized, the one which has no scars, the one which, has not, which is not damaged, and you determine how much of it that you have and can be used. Now, we have seen what, what leather involves. We have seen the stages. Now we have said now, let us also give the guiding questions to the students to see how they can handle them. These are the guiding questions that you can decide to answer and then come up with the answers that can help us understand properly. Question number one, outline the qualities of a good leather. Okay, this one you can outline. Give the reasons why leather must be processed. Why must it be processed? You remember very well I told you that you don't just get it from an animal and put it on with its smell, with its hardiness. So, uh, whether, where, where, when it is decaying, tell us why is it very important that leather must be processed. State the differences, the different types of tanning leather. We have just seen them. Can you state them and also search for more? Another final question is that outline the differences between leather and dried hide and skin commonly used for making drums. Yes, this one is now also for you to try to find out the difference between the two. Okay? Now, you may want more information. This contact now here on your screen. 
you can this this is the link that you have to use for that so that you can get more information when it is required i want to thank you so much for your attention i want to thank you for this time that you have given in for your future please read answer the questions like that when we meet we know where to begin thank you may god keep you safe and protect yourself be very careful with your life thank you so much bye bye